Good morning, everybody. It is 10.55 a.m. on Saturday, February 15th, not 15th, 13th. I read the wrong number, you guys. February 13th, 2016. I'm Christiana Ellis, and I just got up. This is five more minutes. I had a very lovely experience sleeping in this morning. Um, that experience being the sleeping in part. It was just one of those especially satisfying ones. I did have to get up and take Luna out earlier, but then got back in bed. It was very satisfying. Um, it's super cold outside today. I mean, you know, relatively speaking. There's people who deal with colder climbs, to be sure. But this is on the colder side of uh, the weather we get around here. And... Uh, uh, so I think right now it's like something like 16 degrees Fahrenheit, but uh, with a real feel or wind chill or whatever of 6 degrees Fahrenheit. So again, it gets colder than that, not only here but other places, but that is cold enough. Cold enough, yes. Um, the other thing that's uh, funny, kind of funny, just given what I talked about yesterday talked about the witness and how there were several of those puzzles that I was stuck on, that I had kind of narrowed the paths down to just five or six that I knew I could progress something on, but I couldn't get through it. Well, I just sat down to play yesterday and then knocked like four of those out and then did a bunch more of the ones that unlocked as a result. So there's a couple of the ones that I was stuck on that I am still stuck on, but, uh, Boy, it just goes to show that uh, sometimes something just clicks and it just works and you say, oh, I get it. And uh, that's a very satisfying feeling it is. I haven't looked up any clues yet. Um, so uh, I've got 10 out of 11 lasers, if you follow me. Um, and then uh, the what... Uh, now, you only need seven lasers to gain access to a whole other area, which I believe leads to endgame. Um, but, uh, like, the puzzle to actually get in there is one of the ones I'm still stuck on. So I've just been doing some of the other lasers in the meantime. None of this makes any sense if you haven't played the game. But, you know, I you know, it's video games, so... <laughs> um... And, uh, I, but yeah, so that was kind of just, uh, was, a, was almost like the game was rewarding me for my frustration for not breaking. Um, <laughs> but, uh, the other, uh, another positive development is that, uh, I've now gotten Luna to go up her little, uh, stairs a couple of times. Um, I, I decided that part of what was, uh, spooking her from doing that before was that uh, the hardwood floors, uh, she doesn't get very much traction. And so when she felt like she didn't have enough traction under her her back feet, her hind legs, um, she was scared to try to jump. Usually when she jumps onto the bed, she does it from a nonstick rug. So I scooted the nonstick rug over so that part of it would be under the stairs. And uh, that made the difference. She was still a little bit... Uh, shy to do it. It took a lot of uh, T-R-E-T's and urging from me, uh, but she finally did it, and then she's done it twice more since um, much easier, so she definitely knows she can do it now, which is great. Good job, little dog. Um, I went to see uh, the Improv Boston main stage show last night. It's uh, one of two times, you know, so as part of taking the class that I'm in, um, I have to see two of them. Um, and yeah, I saw this one. I, you know, I've seen them before, but, uh, this, you know, one of the natures of improv, it's always a different show, right? So it's definitely interesting, um, as you improve your own craft to be able to recognize the things that are happening on stage. You know, you can recognize when, oh yeah, that cut was because the scene had run out of steam or, um, uh, oh, look, that was, you know, you don't, this, that's an example of how yes anding someone doesn't necessarily mean actually saying yes, um, or finding the game of the scene, so to speak, all of those neat little things. Um, 
today I have my actual improv class and then I might try to sneak in a viewing of Deadpool we'll see um, but uh, in the meantime I've been going long enough so I'll talk to you guys tomorrow for five more minutes <laughs>